quick tip on how to make a palette from what you might have around your house uh, so that you can keep your acrylics dry in between the painting sessions. So I just have a piece of glass here that's from a, an old picture frame I wasn't using. This is just a very small uh, scale but you can do it whatever scale you like. And you can see that it's it's hard to see the colours that you've mixed. But if you get a, a surface, in this case I'm using a, a barbecue foil tin, and then I just lay a piece of white card in the bottom of it and put my palette over the top and it's very easy to then mix up. Let's mix ourselves up a, a violety purpley kind of colour there and you can see that you can see the colour clearly that you're mixing. So the end of the day comes, your painting session is finished and you want to keep those moist because these are interactive and they stay moist longer but most acrylics dry up very quickly and what you will need is a spray bottle of water and just give them a little mist, a little mist all over to keep them dry. So you do that regularly. And when you've finished your session and you want to store them so that they're workable next time you get them out, just take a normal household sponge, dip it in water, sit it in your palette. So you can do a couple if you want to. That will help keep it nice and moist. Piece of cling film. Wrap the top of it in the cling film to make it airtight there. And that cling film, there's your moisture. The cling film's going to keep it in, pop it in the fridge. When you bring it out next time, it'll be still working fine. Instead of using a foil pan, you could use a plastic container with a lid and then you wouldn't need to worry about this. So something like you would put a, a tray bag in to take somewhere. So that's a very cheap, inexpensive palette you can make out of what you've got lying around. It works on the same principle as this one, which it is one of my palettes where I have all the whirls here, do the mixing in the middle on an area that has a sponge soaked in water and a, and a permeable paper that I can mix on and that will actually keep it nice and moist. Put the lid on, lock it in place, put it in the fridge if I want to, but mostly I just keep it on the bench. You can use anything as a mixing surface for your acrylics they're plastic paint, so they're going to dry and you can, a lot of these kind of plastic surfaces, if you use, you can peel them off. So a, a plastic, a white plastic plate is another good one. One with a ra big round one uh, with a rim that you can put all the paints out on and use the middle as your mixing area. And then uh, you can upturn another plastic plate on top of it, wrap it in the cling wrap and put it in your fridge and that will help keep it moist too for your next session. But a spray bottle of water is very handy just to, to mist spray your palette from time to time every 15 minutes or so when you're working with acrylics to keep them nice and moist so they don't form a skin. That's your tip for this week. Bye for now. Just a little bit about how to mix your... Just a quick tip on making yourself a palette that will stay... Keep your... Just a quick tip on how to make a palette from what you might have around your house uh, so that you can keep your acrylics dry in between the painting sessions. So I just have a piece of glass here that's from a, an old picture frame I wasn't using. This is just a very small uh, scale but you can do it whatever scale you like. And you can see that it's, it's hard to see the colours that you're mixing on there. 